Alright, this is Ghost Child. Should be interesting. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, which is um, no knight in shining armor, I think. Um, Wheel of Fortune, we have external changes and engagements or weddings. We have the Seven of Swords with no worries, no cheating. The King of Cups with no expression. We have the Justice card with no fair treatment and karma. Okay, so we have unsuccessful plans. We have trying too hard to achieve the American dream. We have self care, um, rest, time alone. Much needed rest, time away from social media, time to reflect, um, restoration, contemplation, we have temporary problems, we have April, that can be somebody's birthday or an event of some kind. We have getting together with friends, we have too much concern with sexual matters, we have keep your life in balance, we have temptation will test you. We have periods of prosperity and abundance. We have trouble and assumptions. We have good uh, fortune. We have incarnation for insight or inspiration. The blessings ball. We have candle calm. We have depression. We have anxiety. We have worry that somebody is against you. We have a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. We have $10. We have custom reading. We have meeting somebody who looks innocent but is a wanted criminal. We have clubs, viruses, feeling like shit. We have um, let's see, sensationalism. We have tequila. We have dazzle. We have Delilah. We have key. We have queen. We have justice. We have Malicious, we have Prince of Wales Plumes, we have Anvil, we have a Green Emerald, we have a Water Feature, a Pond, Lake, Stream, River, Ocean, or a Lakefront. We have a Big Head Headline event is going to happen around this time. We have Legal Matters like Child Support, we have Side Hustles, and we have Cube. So, I feel like this is like an everyday thing. I think somebody's child um, is either past or is about to come into the world. Um, and there is a lot of things this child is telling you that they were going to bring to the table. Um... This kind of talks about somebody who is kind of a um, business person. It's, it's, it's a very interesting thing. Um, this little ghost child was going to be a tycoon. And somebody had a little bit of an abortion or whatever. And the child isn't here. Um... This child was going to be richer than Donald Trump, is what they're saying. So, they were also going to be one of those people that reinvents something for the water. They were going to be like a person that built a better boat, or a better game for boats or something. Or just a better industry for bro boats and things. And, um... This, this child is kind of talking about their parent that aborted them, or both of them, 
as a criminal that needed to be locked up. Um, so, felt like it was malicious to do this to them. Um, the, um, let's see. So, I'm kind of getting emotional. I don't like it when kids are um, apported. I think that's cruel. Um, but yeah, this little one is saying that he would have been bringing a lot of good ideas to the table and he knew what his purpose was before he even was born. Um, Um, and he was, he was kind of one of these kids, like, you've seen him, they're always, like, trying to help people around him, or concerned about other people and things. Does he understand why he was supported? Not really. Um, does he feel like his parents are villains for allowing him to be a reported yeah um he would have had green eyes would have had um his favorite thing would be clubs like in uh polo um And his mom was 38, so you can imagine. Um, but I feel like he he felt like some something just didn't work out in his favor, and he just felt like he was put out by it. But yeah, he he would have been probably a man's man, just be outside and like nature and things, and like success and business and building skyscrapers and things. But, yeah, he was just very upset that he didn't get to experience life, you know. Um, I've had a lot of these type of readings because people want to know, like, what their kid would have been if they were alive and all. But, yeah, it, it's very sad. The kid would have been born in October, too, so that's even something else, too. It would have been a Libra. So... It's interesting to read these. It's very sad. I mean, you, you can feel, like, the hurt and, like, people that have passed on, you know? Like, if they have a guilty complex about their personality or they don't understand why they died the way that they did, they do have a guilty complex in their existence, you know? Um, with this one, it's very... very hollow, you know, and the hollow it is, the more emotional you get, you know, because it's like, they're, they're talking about things that they wanted to do, and then they didn't get to experience it, so it's like, there's nothing really to put a firm foundation on it, so it's based in dreams, and moments of thought in the universe, so, anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out, um, I, I just feel like this little one wanted to meet his parents. Um, there's been a few kids that have read abortion things like this for, and they they didn't they knew why they were you know aborted like they they knew that they had no business being around certain people or what happened or anything like that but um spirit children do choose their parents um you might not think so oh, why did you bring me into the world and all this um but yeah it, children pick their parents they're like these two will be good for me if i'm becoming this you know or i'm gonna bring joy to somebody in the world if i'm part of this family or something 
but it's you do choose before you're born who you want to be raised by or who your parents should be or whatever and you have to take everything that they do as gospel you know it, it's going to be talked about <laughs> probably at the end of your life why you got rid of children but it's not for me to judge right now I'm not going to judge anybody but this young child wanted to be born um, I think all Libras want to be born they're they're very into the world and people um, but yeah hopefully this helps somebody out and understanding how the spirit realm works and how there's different different levels of guilt this is the first level of guilt um, but there's many levels of guilt that a lot of people without me reading about it are going to go through in their lifetime or afterlife um, and I believe in reincarnation but I do believe that there's a moment place and time for certain afterlife things to happen um, so and that I think this is a heavy weight of karma though so just be aware of that when you're deciding to have a family or not have a family and uh, what exactly abortion means to spirit babies because spirit babies are going to follow you around until you pass so just remember that um anyway and take care of yourselves take care of everyone and i will see you in the next reading be careful with the decisions you make in your life because there is there's something to be said about each and every one of those things um anyway i'll see you later okay bye